Hello everyone. Okay, as you probably guessed by the title of this video, we are back in the kitchen for today's video. Actually, it may span over a couple of days because boys are napping and they don't nap very long and I've got a few bits and pieces to cook here with you today. Oh no, Henry, Henry is not sleeping well. If you hear some crying in a minute, it's the monitor. But um, yes, we're back in the kitchen and it's got me reminiscing about those Bake With Me videos. Guys, who is here from when I used to do those? Like, please let me know in the comments below if you were a follower from the very beginning there. Um, I do miss doing those and I really wanna bring them back. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way or how they could be away with the boys. Maybe once they're a little bit older and they can come and help me, that could be fun or at least when they can go off and do an activity for half an hour so I can do something in the kitchen. But uh, yes, I'm so excited to be here. It's like the coziest day here in LA. It's the first day that I've had like drizzle and cloud since we got here in, when did we move here? April? April, May, June, July, or five months. And I literally feel like I've just been transported back to Seattle for a day. And as much as I hate rain, <laughs> it's so lovely when it's just, um, you haven't had it for so long. So very much feeling cozy today. It's getting me pumped for the autumn or fall and Christmas and the holidays and everything else. Um, anyway, let's get to the nitty gritty. Today's video, I, how can I explain this? I saw a comment in my video that I did on what the boys eat in a day and it was asking me what sorts of things I give them for snacks and I started thinking about this and I thought, Do you know what? I really am not doing great with their snacks. I give them a lot of packaged foods, a lot of crisps, like the puffs, uh, nothing very nutritious. It's either fruit or those puffs pretty much, or like the yogurt melts from um, the supermarket and things like that. And I thought there has to be a way to give more, more varied snacks rather than just gravitating towards those easy things. So today we're gonna make some together. I've been doing a bit of research found some other videos, found some things that people were making that I think sound so yummy. And I'm gonna make them with you today or tomorrow or the next day, whenever I can fit the things in. If my clothes keep changing or the lighting keeps changing, I apologize, that's why. But I've got four recipes that we're gonna to make together and I'm very excited. The boys have only eaten, well, there's one which you'll understand when I show you. It's like a range of things put together, which they have had. Um, but the other three recipes, I don't think they've had any of them, so we'll see how much they like them. But yeah, was there anything else I wanted to tell you? That's what I wanted to tell you regarding the snacks. I am trying to kind of see them more as like mini meals now and make sure that the boys are getting some sort of nutrients from them rather than just giving them puffs because when I was down the park and I had the puffs for the boys, I noticed a lot of the babies like getting funny and like fighting over them and I thought they're finding them addictive. So trying to find things that are just slightly more healthy, um, also practical because a lot of the time that we're having snacks we're out and about and just making things that can be in the cupboard ready to go so that I'm not just skipping things because the doctor did say they need to be three meals and two snacks a day and I feel like sometimes I may just like forego a snack because I don't know what to give them and there's nothing accessible at home. So I figured this is a way to stock the cupboards up and not like just miss a snack for the boys. So yeah, so I've tried to compile, compile uh, four snacks that are nutrient dense, not going to cause too much of a mess because that's not what you want when you're not sitting in the high chair at home and they're quick and easy to make. So let's get started. Number one is what I like to call the baby trail mix. For this, I've used some corn puffs, some freeze dried fruit and some Cheerios. I personally like to use the freeze dried apples and bananas from Trader Joe's. Be careful if you're gonna use the berries. If you have a messy eater, they can make all your baby's clothes end up red. Just FYI, this has happened to us. So all you're gonna do is combine all three into a bowl, mix them up and voila, you have an easy snack that's slightly more varied than just one packaged item. I store it in a Tupperware and keep it in my diaper bag for any situations that I need to keep the boys amused for just a second or two. Next up is banana porridge fingers. Again, super simple and you could swap out the banana for any other fruit. I'll link the recipe below where they give other flavor alternatives. I've decided to use banana. As you can see, this one is on its last legs and needs to be eaten up. So all you're gonna do is mash a banana, mix it with one and a quarter cup of oats, 180 milliliters of milk, give it a good mix, flatten it out in the dish and microwave it. 
I did increase the recipe substantially, so I ended up microwaving this for two minutes, two consecutive times. Once it's finished in the microwave, it will be soft, but still hold its shape. You can then divide it into bite-sized pieces and store in an airtight container in the fridge. I really love this snack idea. Boys aren't great at eating oatmeal and porridge in the morning, so it's a great alternative way of getting oats into them. It's also really nutritionally dense, naturally contains iron, very inexpensive to make and has a lot of fibre. So a great snack all round. The third recipe I'm going to be sharing with you is some mini pea pancakes. For this you will need one cup of cooked peas, half a cup of cottage cheese, two eggs, half a cup of rolled oats and 50 grams of feta cheese. So all you're going to do is combine them all in a handheld mixer or blender until you get a smooth consistency like this and then fry until they're golden brown. I used a medium to high heat and fried them for about two to four minutes on each side. Last but not least, we have some carrot muffins. I was actually so surprised at how these tasted. I thought they would seem like they need some sort of sugar or sweetener, but they were actually so pleasant. So I definitely recommend trying these. Again, for this, you will be combining everything together. I've chosen to use a mixer, but you could definitely do this by hand if needed. Starting with the wet ingredients, you will firstly mix together 200 grams of cooked and mashed carrot, one egg, and 50 grams of melted butter or oil. Then give it a quick mix until it's all combined and smooth. Here's how mine looked. Then you're gonna add the dry ingredients. Here we have 80 grams of flour, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of baking powder. You're gonna beat this for a further minute, again until smooth, and then it's ready to bake. So using a lightly oiled muffin tin, divide the mixture as you please. And once it's ready, place them in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and ta-da. Here you have a simple, no fuss, easy muffin for your toddler and little one. The perfect way to get some more veggies into their diet. And that is it guys, that is the four snack ideas. Well, three here, I don't have the trail mix pictured on here um, because we've been using it going out and about. It's actually a couple of days later. Uh, the boys have tried everything now other than the porridge fingers, but they've absolutely loved these two especially. And I was so shocked because of the vegetables, I just, I don't know, because I've always given them a fruit a lot of the time or packaged things, I thought, oh, they're not gonna like this, but they love them. And I'm so pleased because I rarely give them peas, so that's one good thing. And then there's oats in all of these recipes and they don't really eat oatmeal ever. They just make such a mess and such a fuss with it. So really pleased about this. So I hope it's given you guys some inspiration of some ideas for snacks or maybe just um, ways to sneak in vegetables that maybe your babies or toddlers avoid and yeah I hope some of you try these please let me know if you do and if your babies like them or toddlers like them the trail mix was kind of a sneaky one I put in there because I know there's not really that much nutrients in there but I especially just kept giving them packs of the bam puffs or rice puffs and at least it gives a bit of variation in there rather than just giving them one thing. You can sneak in some dried fruits. Um, like I said, beware of the red ones because they do stain. But other than that, really pleased with this and they're all nutrient dense, not too much mess. <laughs> just beware of the trail mix because when I go out and give them that, which I tend to navigate to that because it's just easy for them to like eat it and keeps them occupied for a while. But they do leave a trail of mess wherever we go. And if we're in the mall or anything like that, there's a trail of trail mix or a trail of Cheerios. So just beware of that, but yeah. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if you want any more cooking videos or baby food inspiration videos and I'll be happy to do that for you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.